everybody, and welcome back to This or That with Kobe and Jat. It's been a while. We've been doing this show a long time. I think some people okay. don't know that we have never seen the slides before. So we cannot be held accountable we're, we're back for misinformation or mistakes. That's true. I like yeah. not being accountable. Yeah, no responsibility. <laughs> we have six slides today. That I do know. Let's get to the first slide. This or that, better jungler, Skarner or Sejuani? Ooh, this is a tough one. Uh, win rate would say Skarner, as far as all people playing uh, in all ELOs, or even just higher okay. uh, ELOs, especially mm -hmm. after the nerf to Shijuani, uh the longer cooldown on Arctic Assault. Q. Definitely felt that one. Um, I personally still like playing Sejuani more than Skarner, but I think mm. Skarner is overall stronger right now after the buffs to the stun duration. I completely agree, especially Predator Skarner or Unsealed Spellbook Skarner. There's a reason it started getting first pick banned in the NALCS, fastest clear time, still has viability through the mid game. I think it's pretty clearly Skarner right now. Yeah. And Holistically, I think Sejuani has been the better jungler, but it's this. And there's a couple specific things for people with the increased stun duration, uh, you actually get to reduce the cooldown on your stun a lot easier. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of like chaining things that happen with that, uh, with the buff yeah. E. Captain Flyer's favorite combo, E, pull them, then proc the stun, then E them again, then stun them again. That's how you become a real Skarner. Slide number two, this or that, there's a lot of other reasons. Uh, better throwback, double lift saving flash or x Smithy missing Sejalt? Um, Both of these things happen. I, I like this one more because it's a bigger moment. The ult, you know, <laughs> going wide or whatever. Yeah. Saving Flash doesn't really have that big moment for me, right? Yeah. It's just kind of like goes and he dies and then you look afterward and you're like, oh, he had Flash. Um, and a lot of the times Saving Flash can be good. There's no situation in which throwing the ult wide and missing, you're like, ah, he did that on purpose. Zoning ult or something like that. Did you know? that the X Smithy missing Sejalt meme happened against Team Liquid? I didn't, I didn't remember that. I believe that's true. I, it's from memory. We never <laughs> okay. see these slides before, but it's true. I'm gonna go that as well. It's a visceral moment when yeah. he gets to Sejalt. Everyone yeah. gets to see it. Slide number three, uh, more obnoxious. Paddle star range plus damage or trouble. Both Zoe things or trouble bubble CC plus zone control. For me, it's definitely the, the zone control, the bubble expanding when it misses. And then once you have it yeah. on you, you know doom is impending. And, it, yeah. and this is going to lead to that guarantee anyway. Yeah, so like, I could understand why it's obnoxious if like a paddle star just hits you in the middle of the team fight and takes all your damage. There's a lot of things that hit me in the middle of the team fight that can kill me. Uh, Syndra ultimate, Fizz, Zed back in the day, all these, I'm used to that. What I'm not <laughs> used to is this little piece of CC that looks like it's going away and you touch the edge of it and you're dead. Like that's just stupid in a lot of ways. When it happens to me, I hate okay, it. Okay, okay. So, so we're both in agreement. We're in agreement. Next slide, please. Yeah. Uh, more disappointing, Mike Young or Zven and Mithy? Ooh, ooh. Damn. This one is hard because I think that Mike Young has messed up more than Sven and Mithy. Uh -huh. However, the bar, expected bar for him coming in was much lower because he is the new guy, you know, mm -hmm. and it was all about communication and him learning. Yeah, I think, uh, I thought one of the biggest question marks for TSM coming in was whether or not uh, Mike Young would be good. Yeah, kind of. And I don't expected. think he's been great. He's not been very good. Uh, but Sven and Mithy were supposed to be like gods of Europe, shot calling, amazing team play. And TSM has been the worst in the league at those things. So that makes that more disappointing, even if they both played bad. Yeah, I think I would lean towards this guy because of the uh, expectations as well. So once again, that. Next slide up, we have more viable surprise pick Victor, Yasuo, or Draven. This or that, or the other thing. They've done this before. This is actually a bit of a throwback episode. Define surprise, because I think Victor was banned multiple times in phase two of drafts and is kind of a known quantity. But he's definitely the most viable of the bunch too, I think. Yeah, how surprised are you by a, by a Victor pick nowadays? Like three out of 10? Uh -huh. <laughs> like, I'm not actually surprised. I was surprised to see Yasuo, uh, but uh, questionable on his viability, Kobe? When they, I, give us three choices. I, I would say most viable surprise pick um, would go with Draven, because first one, I'm like, Victor, I'm not that surprised by it. checks by all it. the boxes. It's viable, it's surprising, and it's on the slide. Mm -hmm. so, I think Yasuo a little bit less viable, even though into Nar, you know, it's the specific, uh, you know, counter pick. 
Uh, wind wall is extremely useful in multiple different ways, but uh, I actually feel like Draven decently strong, uh, especially into you know the shorter range AD carries. And yeah. if you craft your team around trying to snowball, go for the cash and that sort of thing. Get those ganks bottom after Draven has like 200 CS. I'm gonna do that. I think we've agreed on every the other damn thing. slide today. It's the other thing. Next slide. Number five don't or six, I don't remember, someone's gonna tell me, a producer, sticks a blast cone, great assist for <laughs> terrible betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> the reason Coming why out. great assist, by the way, <laughs> Aphromoo obviously was his lane partner. They had a long history. He was on 100 Thieves in that game. Uh, and it was definitely a big throw moment. Yes. They had already, you know, they had already yeah. lost the Baron but uh, didn't notice it in the moment, by the way. He yeah. immediately auto-attacks the Blast Cone yeah. as soon as he jumps he over. Jumps over the back of the pit, autos it. You can't attack move into the Blast Cone. You have to click on it. You can't click on it, and I think he was trying to run in that direction. <laughs> it was instant. They were like, over and back. And you're like, well, they just lost. Uh, so, you know, may I started to think like, Maybe his initial thought was, you know, getting it, killing the blast cone, There's so no that way he no one else to hit it. I don't think it's got to be accidental. You don't kill your own team. Uh, it's nice to think I, that their synergy was so strong that he still loves Afro. I mean, that's that's the to joke tank answer. CLG. Yeah, it's a joke slide, Kobe. It's not serious. It is definitely a terrible betrayal. Oh, this is serious. Yeah. I think it was a very serious and terrible betrayal. Yeah. Whether it was an accident or not, you can say like accidental manslaughter or something like that, right? <laughs> You can. He popped two of them back over. The sentence, and believe. then sure. after that, you could tell he felt so bad. He had remorse. He stayed around in the team fight. He died as well. It was the <laughs> full ace. He was like, oh no, I'm sorry guys. Oh, I'm fighting here. You know, I'm helping shooting Ezreal yeah. Q's over. And yeah. then he dies too. So All right, that's he, he knew it was a betrayal. He uh, felt bad. I agree. Uh, good slides this week. I felt, yeah. I felt really good about this episode. I especially like this, this last one, you know, good and evil, the pull yeah. between. Did he mean to? <laughs> yeah, great debate. Does this or that count as a slide? The answer is no. Uh, hit us up on Twitter, at RyKobe, at RyChat. Use the hashtag TOT or this or that. Yeah. You have options. Also, I like, uh, at the end of last year, we had one that tallied who won. Yes. And a guy went through and went through all the uh, objective slides. Uh, yeah. I think that people should tally again this one. Yeah. I, I won the first Kobe round, did at one point say SKT had a 0% chance of going to MSI. That's, I'm I still that think that. that. Yeah. All right. <laughs>